I'm Emily Moshak, and you're listening to Tuned In to NoCo, Town Square Media's show that lets you know what matters in NoCo. I'm talking today with Megan Murray, the president of the University of Northern Colorado's chapter of Best Buddies. So thank you so much for joining me, Megan. Hi, Emily. Thank you for having me. Of course. And now, for those who are unfamiliar, what is the Best Buddies Club? Best Buddies is an organization that matches college-age students with adults who have intellectual disabilities in the Northern Colorado region. So we create friendships and let the surrounding area know what it's like to have an amazing friendship with some amazing people. How did you get involved with the club? It was at an involvement fair my first year at UNC, and my entire life's passion is working with people with disabilities. And so hearing that there was a club dedicated to that, it just warmed my heart. I knew I needed to be a part of that club and to meet some great people. Well, that is so great to hear. And now you touched on this a little bit, but what is it really like to be a member of the club at UNC? What's an experience there like? No event is ever boring. These members, they're all you can think of and more. They are fun. They are compassionate. We always have a great time. And every single member of this club is excited to see you there. There are big welcomes, big smiles, and just a lot of love to go around at every event that we go to. That is awesome. And I was looking on your website and I saw that the club really focuses on building one-to-one friendships, leadership development, advocating for inclusivity. Would you be able to touch on those a little bit more? Yes. So not often adults with disabilities and significant disabilities get a turn to have real life friendships. It's usually them being in their homes or their care facilities or with whatever service providers they have. But Best Buddies really wants both college students and students, uh, adults with disabilities to know that friendships between both parties are easy and fun and something everyone deserves to be a part of. We go out into different areas in our Northern Colorado community and show the surrounding area that we just like to have fun and everyone is welcome. No one ever feels judged or uh, let out, but we are just welcoming of everyone and want to show the public that we are amazing people to hang out with. That's awesome. And what kind of activities do you do around Northern Colorado? We do do on-campus activities. We host parties every month, and they're usually themed based on the holiday that's going on that month. And we do a lot of lunch or fundraising events in and around Northern Colorado to show awareness to different communities of who we are and what we do. And we try to support local businesses and chain restaurants by having events there and having one big group outing or having events on different campuses. And like you said, the club caters to those with intellectual and developmental disabilities. In your experience in the club, what do you think people need to be more aware of when it comes to people who have those disabilities? Especially with our age group, these members are adults. We start at 18 and we have members go up to ages 84. And so it's important for everyone to know that these are adults that are allowed and able to make adult decisions. Sometimes we go out and have drinks together. I've never seen anyone down a margarita faster than half of our members. (laughs) And it's just important to know that these are just adults that like to have fun, they like to have friends, and they like to go out and party. And so just giving them that space to take a little bit more time to think, to get where they need to go, and then the friendship is just the same as any other friendship you would have with someone else. That sounds like such a fun time, and I'm glad that you're able to be out and about in the Northern Colorado community and spread awareness for this cause. How have you seen your time with Best Buddies, or the club in general, I mean, impact Northern Colorado. Do you have any specific personal stories of your time there that you'd like to share? I definitely believe that we've learned and taught other people that all walks of life are welcome. I know that some of our people who have an affinity for working with people with special needs tend to go to the club, but over the past few years, we've had 
business majors and nursing majors and journalism majors, majors, all walks of life come and join our club because they know that we're just a f- bunch of friends getting together. And so everyone kind of wants a little bit of the action, knowing that they will have someone who will love them and befriend them no matter who they are or where they come from. And just watching that blossom and watching these friendships grow with different walks of life with no judgment has been amazing to see. How can people who have disabilities get involved with Best Buddies? There are many organizations in the Northern Colorado region that have some kind of service providing them, whether that be alternative access, Special Olympics is a part of it, uh, the Arc of Weld County is a part of it. All of these different avenues really try to get the most amount of experiences for their members and their clients. And so anyone who is looking to join Best Buddies with an intellectual disability, talk to your service provider or even go to the UNCO website and find us. And we would love to sit down and talk about what it looks like and what to do and all this stuff in order to join because the more the merrier. That's great. And would that website be the same for people without disabilities who might want to connect? Yes. So you can look us up at unco.edu or if you want to look up the Best Buddies International website, you can go to bestbuddiesonline.org to look up all the information as well. Now, for those people who might be unable to join a chapter but still want to advocate for the Best Buddies mission, help you guys out, how would they be able to do that? You can definitely find us on different social medias. Our handles are UNCO Best Buddies, and we love any kind of support or donations. They are always welcome. And if you cannot join a chapter on the international website, there are different ways to get involved, whether that be a sponsor or an advocate or just wanting to find different avenues to join this amazing organization. And now I know with COVID and the pandemic, it's probably a little slower than usual, but do you have any events coming up that people need to know about or things going on? Ooh, so we have just about wrapped up our season because we follow the school year with the university, but we are always looking for new places to get in touch with and always new areas to kind of connect with. And so we are always on the lookout for new people to meet and new people to come learn about what Best Buddies is. Well, thank you so much, Megan, for taking the time to talk to me. Is there anything else you would like listeners to know today? I would love listeners to know that the disability community, no matter who you look like, what you are, where you come from, is ready and ready and willing to love and support you. So if you're looking for a friend who just wants to listen and know who you are, then find your local Best Buddies chapter and meet some amazing people. That is great. Well, thank you again, Megan. I appreciate you coming on. It was great to learn about Best Buddies today. Thank you so much, Emily. I appreciate your time. Again, that was Megan Murray, president of the University of Northern Colorado's chapter of Best Buddies. To learn more about Best Buddies at UNC, visit unco.edu or bestbuddies.org slash Colorado.